What's going on, everybody? It's Garrett. Let's try a four versus four. Wow, we have people from all over the world here, especially Canada, United States, this flag right here, Greece. Look at that, Greece. And who else? Chile. And that's awesome. Praise God, Chile. Here we go, four versus four. Let's try, let's try, how about the nomads? Welcome let's put down our tank, to Nova. the sand badger. Let's build one worker, build the snail, click in ready. Let's go ahead and click the dice. Anybody incredible here? The tempest is good, but now, no, no. We'll stick 100% nomad gameplay. I grew up in a Jewish family. My mom and dad are both Jewish. And even though that's true, um, no Bible in the house. And all of the years I lived at home, God's name was never mentioned one single time and the name Jesus never mentioned once not one single time nobody prayed no Bible no word of God no nothing there was zero absolute zero kingdom of God going on in the house as a young boy, there was all kinds of scary stuff going on in the house. Like there was always a demon walking outside of our bedroom window. And he would walk through the bushes, making a lot of noise, and stand right there at our window and just stay there. Not tapping the window, not slamming, not doing anything. Just standing right there at the window, doing nothing. Let's see, 77. We have 86. Let's go ahead and build a worker. And let's put a harpy down here. Okay. All kinds of scary stuff going on in the house. As the years pass by, I'm still in my mom's house. My mom and dad got divorced. Not one word about God, Jesus, heaven, nothing. Nothing at all. I had to run away from home. My mom was on medication, just so sad. Absolute wreck. One day, one night, I'm sorry, one night she freaked out on me. I ran away from home to my dad's house. So now I'm living with my dad a couple years. Not one word about God, nor the kingdom of God. Nothing about Jesus. Not a single word. And I'm leading to a point here. I'm now in my teens. I'm 16, 17, and 18. Let's see. Do I want to build two looters or float 20 gold? Wave three. I don't like the looters, to be honest with you. They are incredibly weak. Let's float the gold. Let's see what happens. That could be a mistake. Let me see what happens. So now I'm 16, 17, 18, 19, living my life, getting a girlfriend. Not one word about God was spoken to anybody in my life. Not one word. Then at the age of 18, we got invited to a, a Bible study group for on a Friday night. So me and my friends went. Wave four, we're gonna go ahead and build a warg. Let's put a warg right there behind the tank. And let's add a harpy. 
Wave 4, I'll go ahead and send some attackers for Wave 5. This is no mad gameplay. 4 versus 4. Here's my teammates build right here. Looks okay. Here's my other teammate here. And this guy, what are these? He's building two honey flowers. Let's watch the honey flowers for a second. Yeah, they're they're owning. Okay. Let me go back to mine. Looks like we're okay because the wargs have resistance for this round. They're very strong. That war can tank. If you look down here, when he has resistance, he can actually tank. Wave 5. Let's check the workers. 6-6. Six, six, I have only 4. Let's build a worker. Okay. And we got 72 gold. We can build two harpies. There we go. So I go to the Bible study group. It was okay. After that, for the next 10 years, I never heard a word about God. Not one word about Jesus. Nobody told me a single thing. Nobody. Ten more years went by. I'm now in my 30s. Never heard anything about God. Never. Am I going to get breached because I built that worker? I No, it looks like I'm okay. I think, yeah, the warg is tanking. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. Never heard a word about God going into my 30s. Then I had a neighbor. He tried to come over to my apartment and preach to me about God, but I just wasn't ready. I just, I wasn't ready. And after a while, he gave up. Here's our defense. And here's our attacker. So this is our attacker. This is their defense. I wasn't ready to hear the word yet. Let me think. 140. I would say a warg. <laughs> How many workers we have? Only five. I'm falling a little bit behind on workers. I know that. Ah, missed out. Okay. A little bit slow right there. I'm now in my 40s. Don't hear a word about the kingdom of God. Absolutely nothing. No one. No bosses, co-workers... No family members. Nobody tells me anything. One thing leads to another. I end up going to jail and prison for two hours. And it was in jail. Okay, okay. Our, our military is too strong. I need to pump out workers. It was in jail that God finally decide, decided to send grace. And it was in jail that I started going to the little the little um worship sessions in jail and in prison let's see we have 83 we can't upgrade no not even close all we can do is build two more harpies it looks like and you know what <laughs> building two more harpies is not a bad thing let's go ahead and send a looter and let's send a lizard right here. You see him appear there? Well, in God's sovereignty and in God's wisdom, he wanted to use jail and prison to get me started with the Bible, with singing some songs, going to church on, <clears throat> on Sundays in prison, going to the church Monday nights and Wednesday nights when volunteers would come in. And they would read to us and spend some time with us, trying to help us. Usually it was different men's groups coming into the prison. Pumping out workers. Okay. Here's my point. No family member ever bothered to tell me about God, nor his son Jesus. 
nor the Bible. Here's our defense. They made it to our king. No co-workers, no bosses ever told me about God, nor sinning, <clears throat> nor Jesus' death on the cross. Okay, right now we're losing, so the best thing I can do is make sure that I don't get breached. Wave 8. We have 149 gold. I can put down a warg, or I can upgrade a harpy. I think, let's see. The warg is weak. Let's do a harpy. No, we can't. Let's do a warg. Harpy. And... Too slow. Too slow because I'm telling the stories. Nobody mentioned God to me in my whole life except for just one guy in my 30s and one guy in my 40s and that was it. Nobody. I want to encourage you. Could you tell someone about God the Father and His Son Jesus? Could you spread the word to a family member? And don't just assume that they already know because I didn't know. Could you spread the word at work to a boss or a co-worker? I know sometimes we get shy. Sometimes we don't want to do it. Sometimes we get afraid. I know. I know all about it. Let me think. It's time to do the harpies now. Twenty six gold. Let's go ahead and send a lizard. I want to encourage you, please, for the love of God, tell somebody about Jesus. Don't hold it inside. Don't hold your knowledge inside. I died a thousand deaths. A thousand deaths. From the age of 15 to the age of 45. A thousand deaths. Because nobody told me that God's Son wanted to be a part of my life. Nobody bothered telling me. Let me take a look at this fight. See the level 2 harpy right here? Their name is a Sky Queen. She's just raining down DPS. Look at that. Okay, we barely cleared my own lane. My teammate got breached here. This is a message of encouragement as we watch some nomad gameplay. This is all about encouragement. Please, for the love of God, tell somebody, one of your family members, Friends, loved ones. Let's put him right here. We have 78 gold. All we can do are two harpies. That's fine. Let's go ahead and start upgrading the king. One more. And there we go. Got it in. Okay. Here's the boss. I don't know what's going to happen. They sent a, um, what's the guy called? They sent a brute and a hermit to help the boss. Let's see what happens. It looks like we're okay because of the harpies. Um, yeah, we're okay. I'll tell you something right now. If you're going to play nomads, this warg is a very good 85 gold cost unit. And you can upgrade him two different ways, which is super cool. Okay, we're getting breached again. Um, wow, they're going to get to our king without a doubt. They have a whole bunch of gold coming in. Look at that gold that they're getting. And us, no, we didn't make it. So without a doubt, we're losing this game. Yes. I've fallen behind on workers again. 
when I'm not talking, I tend to play a little different, but this message is really important, really, really important. We've got to tell people about the Lord. We have to push through the fear. I'm going to build a worker and a couple looters, I guess. Not enough gold. There were many nights where I stayed up till 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, talking to people on the phone or on the computer about the kingdom of God. And one of the reasons why God is using me, yes, me, Garrett, to do this ministry work is because nobody ever helped me. And I want to help out. I want to tell people about the Lord and about um, His grace and about there's potential for friendship with them, one-on-one -on -one friendship, and that you don't have to be alone. We can go ahead and reach out to the Lord and ask Him to be a part of our lives, and we'll have a best friend in God's Son. And I tried to spread the word for the last 20 years. Um, praise God, He started using me even in even in, in prison, even in jail a little bit. Wow, we got breached again. Um, here, here's the scores right here. 153 and 11. I'm in last place on my team, but, but I'm not getting breached every round. But I have definitely fallen behind on workers. Yeah, oh, a little bit, yeah. You know what? I would say we upgrade harpies. Can we do one more? Yes. Those level two harpies turn into sky queens, and they are cool. Really cool unit. Okay, our king is maxed out. Let's go ahead and send a drake. Basically, I'm done with this video. This is a video about encouragement. Spread the word. Don't let people die a thousand deaths the way I did, the way Garrett did. I'm talking about dying emotionally. I'm talking about dying spiritually. I'm talking about dying psychologically. I've died a thousand deaths. Spread the word. Try to help people. Teach them about the Lord just the best you can. Stay in as humble as you possibly can, right? Staying absolutely as humble as you can. If you want to stay with me a few more minutes, we'll finish this game. This is Nomad gameplay. We've got a good tank. We have great DPS. We have a great melee um, unit here, the Warg. The healer with the bouncing heal, I guess he's average. I guess he's about average. We're on turn 13. Let's go ahead and put down, let's put him right here. This guy, uh, the boar, sorry, I couldn't think of his name. The farther he runs into the attack, he does splash damage and we're gonna upgrade him. Look at that, look at him now. Lock and load. Okay, we've got <laughs> okay, you know what? What can we build? Let's go with another warg. Another harpy in time? Yeah, I got her down. Okay. Playing a little bit slow while I talk. So for the last 20 years, I've been trying to do whatever I can for the kingdom of God. Sometimes there's a lot of ministry work. Sometimes there's a little. Sometimes there's none at all. Regardless, we humble ourselves before God. We let our terrible, terrible pride go. And we trust his plan. The, I'm just watching the fight. We trust his plan the very best we can with the grace he's giving us while we humble ourselves. Okay, what's happening here? We got breached again. Even though my score isn't too good over here, at, praise God I'm not getting breached too much, and that's, that's kind of important. Um, wave 14, 
It's time to do the tank. Look at that health bar. So let's see. Our tank is he he's the sand badger. You upgrade him, he turns into the iron scales. We have a hundred gold left. We can build a warg or two harpies. We've got two looters. Okay. So looking at my team, what mistakes are there? I don't have enough workers. And I need to upgrade some of these wargs here to level two. And they start getting really strong. Really good unit. Look at my boar. Look at that boar. This is a cool game. I'm not pushing it on you. You want to play? what Jesus is leading you to play. You want to play the games that the Lord's leading you. But this is a simple game to play as I'm going through my spiritual warfare every day, day and night, day and night. I want to say non-stop, but that's not true. The Lord gives me a day off here and a day off there. He gives you a day off, doesn't he? Praise God, he's merciful. So, no mad gameplay. We're slightly losing. Now, what do we do here? We have 500 gold. Wave 15. We need a tank. We have 182 gold. We can do one harpy. That's about it. Let's send a dino, and let's make one looter. And if you want to see the DPS, here's the DPS for the last fight. There's the DPS. The boar's doing 107. Do you see that? The Sky Queen's 139, and they're cheap. One of the best units in the entire game. This level 15 boss is tough, I'm telling you. You got to be ready for wave 15. Checking the workers. We have only 12 on wave 15. <laughs> for you really good players, what a total fail. 12 workers on wave 15. We need to have 15, 16, 17, or 18 workers. So I, I didn't build right. Let me go ahead and pump out three workers. There, I pumped out four workers. We're now at, what, 16? Looks like we built three workers. My teammate got breached. Here's our defense. And if you want to go look at our attackers, here's our attackers right here. We're on their king. Doing good, getting tons of gold. And now we got about a tie game, approximately. We're winning by a little bit. 520 gold. I don't have... Let's see, what does the game say? My defense is too weak. Let's upgrade some wargs. Here's your two choices. We want the red one, the one to the left. We have 170 gold. Let's get let's get a Sky Queen. 125 Mythium. Uh, I like the Drakes. Actually, they're all good. I, I don't know of a bad unit here. Uh, the Ogre, the Ghost Knight. This Kraken is off the charts. Here we go. Wave 16, 17, and 18. Very hard. I hope I didn't build too many workers and not enough military. Um, my tanks are dead. My wargs are dead. I am dead. <laughs> I'm joking around. I got. Are we gonna. No, those Sky Queens are incredible. Look at that. The Harpy costs only 35 gold. When is she gonna be nerfed? Probably never, because if they didn't nerf her in beta, they're not going to nerf her now. Is this game over? Here's our attackers. No, no, they have a... We're going to make it to the king, but 
I don't know if the game's going to be over. Would you please remember to tell someone about Jesus? Maybe they might be children in your neighborhood, your co-workers, your family members, even the ones that you might have had arguments with. Would you remember? Okay, we have 598. Looks like we need a tank, doesn't it, guys? Men and women, sorry about that. Men and women. Let's just upgrade them right now and spend all of our gold. And you can't go wrong with another harpy. The looters, I don't know what to say. You men and women who are more experienced than me with the game, maybe maybe you upgrade the looters and spend that gold. I, yeah, they're just a cheap unit. Let's see what happens. We added a third tank. 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 are extremely hard. Please tell someone about Jesus. Please remember me. Remember Garrett. Remember me dying a thousand deaths because of loneliness and depression. The loneliness, it killed me. The loneliness killed me my whole life. It just killed me. But the Lord, the Lord used it for my good. He used the loneliness for my good. Okay, what's happening? Wow, we got breached. Look at that. Oh, it's GG's. We're on their king. Look. Praise God. Two videos, two victories. There's some nomad Victory. gameplay. Sand Badger, really good tank. Um, Harpy, incredible, incredible unit. Oh, I'm afraid to look at the scores. Okay. This guy here carried us. 45 workers right here. I don't know why I got the MVP. Don't understand that. I've only been playing two weeks. Still new at the game. Not sure. Oh, I think I got the MVP because I had no breaches. Is that why, men and women? Fun game. Cool presence. You do not need to spend any money. Here's the shop. Um, anybody that I play all the time. Yeah, these cost real money. Or at least uh, some of them do. No, all of them cost real money now that I think about it. Here's the Sky Queen. That's not too bad. Oh, the Nekomada, the Japanese cat. So cool. Praise God, another victory. That was fun. Tell someone about the Lord, please.